Hi everyone, I hope you're all fine and well and healthy and you have had a lovely week so far. Um, today I'm going to talk about the third tool that has been very, very beneficial for my creative life and that is the artist's state. Julia Cameron, the author of The Artist's Way, explains it that it, the artist's state is a receiving tool. During an artist's state, you open yourself up to inspiration, to insight and to inner guidance. But what exactly is this artist's state? So uh, how I understand it is that it is a period, a sp very specific period of time that you carve out for yourself each week and that is dedicated to a date with yourself. Yes, a date with yourself. Nobody else is allowed to join this fun. And this is the second thing I think it is about. It is about fun, having fun. Uh, and in a sense, like what helps me a lot to figure out what I can do, what will be helpful or what I really will enjoy a lot is that I think like the inner artist is basically a child. So what would I have enjoyed as a child to do very much? Like maybe watching a certain film or going for a walk along a river and throw stones into the water. Probably it is going to the zoo or it could also be joining a flamenco or hip hop class. I'm sure they are available online as well if you can't go outside for whatever reason. So it is a certain period of time that you dedicate to something you will enjoy very much and makes you in a way feel very special. But of course, I appreciate that we are all busy people and a lot of us have families and it is really not easy to carve out that period of time every week for ourselves. So what can you do? I mean, I recommend and I have done that and it works really well to really talk with your family, explain to them what the artist state is, what it means to you and how it will be beneficial for you and them because you need to recharge your batteries regularly. If you don't do that, you will your energy levels will be empty at some point. And then you can't really care for your family the way you want to care for them. Um, what I also mean is with uh, recharging the batteries. I think there's a good example. And I think I have said that before in a previous video is when you're in the plane and before flight off, a lift off, <laughs> uh, the flight attendant says uh, or explains to you that you have to put the oxygen masks first when they come down from the ceiling and then help somebody else to put them on. Because if, if you don't do it in this way, you will probably not be able to help other people. And the same is for your energy levels. If you don't make sure that you care for yourself first and make sure you have your energy levels up, at some point you will not be able to care, be able to care for other people. So I think that analogy helps a lot of people to understand the importance of it. But of course, the artist state is not just that. It is really to fill your cup with creativity, with, with something special that you can take inspiration from. And that's why I would really also recommend to take a notebook with you or your inspiration journey journal on uh, on your artist state because it's very, very likely that some kind of inspiration will come to you during those states. What else could you do if you're stuck at home for whatever reason, you can't go outside, to have an artist state, what can you do? Um, I find playing Lego for an hour just on my own for an, uh, is, is a beautiful artist state. Yes, your children are not allowed at that time. Sorry, children. Uh, and also not your partner. <laughs> you have to play on your own for that one hour. 
but it is really about experimenting and being in that moment, in that specific moment, not distracted by anybody else, by anybody asking something or suggesting something or whatever. It's your play. You should play and play plays such a big role when it comes to an artist's state. What can make you be more playful? Creativity is such a playful act, so it is crucial that you connect with this playfulness inside of yourself. This is really what this artist state, date is so much about. This connection with your playfulness. What can make you more playful? Maybe it's something like watching just the sunset or the stars. Or it is... Yeah, putting on your favorite music, dancing like nobody is watching. Nobody should be watching anyway. Mm. <laughs> so whatever makes you more playful, I think that that sums it up quite well. So what are you doing to feel more playful? What can you do to carve out this hour or two hours per week for yourself that you can dedicate it to this playfulness? Or something that inspires you. It can also be a visit to the museum if it's something you really, really enjoy. But uh, maybe it's not your thing and that is also okay. It's not about doing something high, creative, artsy, thingy. This is not the time for it. There's, there are other periods of time for that. But if it is that thing for you, you can do that, of course. There are no limits to that, really. The only limit is that you don't share it with somebody else. Sorry for everybody else and you will have to endure yourself. But it will be good, I promise you. Even if it feels really strange at the beginning, but it will be really good. Share down in the comments what you're doing as an artist state. Or maybe you have only just realized that what you have been doing is an artist state. It doesn't really need that label anyway if you if you don't feel that it is the correct label for it. Give us your insights, share your experience. We all benefit from that. We'll, 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 it will give us inspiration for our own dates, our own artist states. And I hope I gave you some inspiration today for your artist states. And um, yeah, in... On the 6th and 7th of June, I will do a workshop on casting actors online for Rain Dance. And if you want to join, the information for the workshop will be in the description box. Uh, and also the links to all the other tools the, uh, that help me in my creative life. And I hope yeah, you enjoyed this. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe and haven't already, then uh, feel free to do so. I'm very happy about that, of course. And we will see each other very soon. Stay healthy, stay safe and stay creative. Bye bye.